In a foreign country stands two monuments less than 300 meters apart that represents fallen men from two very different ideologies. It was the height of the Cold War, and both countries sent men into harm's way to fight and die in this tiny island nation. One country hoped that the revolution here would be the spark that would ignite an explosion of socialism all over the West. The other country would do everything in its power to put that spark out so that nations could remain free. In this video, I'll show you the Memorial to the Fallen, which honors the 19 American troops that died here. I'll also show you the memorial to the Cuban internationalist martyrs that honors the 24 Cubans that were killed on this Caribbean nation of Grenada. Hey everybody, this is Colonel Carson with Family Tree Nuts, and recently we made a special trip to Grenada to visit these monuments, and I wanted to show you the sites and share the story with all of you. At Family Tree Nuts, we build family trees for clients that either don't know how, don't have the time, or don't want to pay for those expensive membership fees that the online companies charge. We'd love to honor your ancestors for you. We also make history videos all over the United States in a few countries. We even have a whole playlist of history videos of the Caribbean. So if you like videos like these, be sure to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Now back to the monuments. This conflict has been overlooked or forgotten by many, but for those of you that are old enough, you might remember the obscure U.S. military operation in 1983 that was codenamed Operation Urgent Fury. The fighting lasted only eight days, and the U.S. troops were gone within 51 days. The operation was the highlight of the movie Heartbreak Ridge, where Clint Eastwood played Gunny Highway, and to old jarheads like me, it is one of our favorite Marine movies. Hoorah! Now, we don't have the time in this video to tell you the whole story of the conflict, but I'll give you a brief synopsis. In 1974, Grenada gained its independence from the United Kingdom, and from that point on, the nation struggled with political conflict. Support for Marxist organizations were growing, and the situation was becoming bloody. The Cubans and the Soviets were getting involved, and President Reagan knew that this was a flame that must be extinguished before it got out of hand. When the fighting was over, 684 Americans, Grenadans, Cubans, and Soviets were killed, wounded, or injured. These monuments honor some of the fallen. Just outside of the Maurice Bishop International Airport stands the Memorial to the Fallen in Grenada, which is proudly dedicated to the military of the United States. It is made up of two strong crossed arches surrounded by concrete-filled steel posts that were once the base of a strong picket fence. At each of the four corners stand or stood two concrete benches. The monument was commissioned by President Ronald Reagan, and he was present in 1986 for its dedication. The monument was restored in 2006, but sadly, the monument is currently in desperate need of repair. The VFW plaque late in 1995 sums up the monument best. It states, to honor those members of the United States military through commitment and sacrifice, return freedom to Grenada. On top of the hill, just about 200 yards away, stands the Memorial to the Cuban Internationalist Martyrs. The monument is a platform painted red with a communist star in the middle. Above the star is a concrete Cuban flag and the main plaque. The main plaque states, in memory of the 24 Cuban internationalists who fell here defending a noble cause. It lists the names of Cubans who died in the conflict and a quote from a man that most will be familiar with. It states, in that trench, they knew that they were defending their people and their country. Fidel Castro. The plaque is ironically written in English, and that fact can be interpreted different ways. Surrounding the monument are memorials to each of the 24 Cubans that died in the conflict. The monument was completed and dedicated in 2017, and it is said to be a symbol of friendship between the peoples and the governments of Cuba and Grenada. So, now we know the story and have seen both monuments. What do you think? Did you know that these even existed? What are your thoughts about having the two monuments so close to each other? Have you ever been here or do you now plan to visit? We'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments below. Also, be sure to see our other two videos from Grenada and our Caribbean history playlist. 
We are proud to share these historic sites with all of you. And remember, family tree nuts, let our nuts find the nuts in your family tree.